This is the Alienware 17. It's a gaming laptop with an absolutely massive form factor, and there's a reason for that. Alienware threw everything it could at this laptop, cramming an Intel Core i9 processor in there, along with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1080 graphics card. It's basically outfitted like a gaming desktop, so let's find out if it performs like one. On the outside, it's not exactly a groundbreaking design, but it works well. It's distinctly Alienware, the futuristic angles, the RGB lighting, the inlaid design on the back of the display. The metallic finish is a bit darker than it has been in the past, but otherwise this is the same design you've likely seen on previous Alienware machines. It works, it looks nice, but it's starting to show its age in one small area, the display bezels. The angled front edge here makes the display chassis a little thick on the top, and it's just an awful lot of wasted plastic, and it looks dated compared to smaller, similar offerings. Credit to the Alienware 17's overlarge chassis, there's an awful lot of room to fill with ports here, and Alienware does just that. The power adapter plugs right into the backside of the chassis, right beside an Ethernet port, a Thunderbolt port, an HDMI port, a mini display port, and on the right side there's a USB-A port. On the left you'll find a USB-C port, a USB-A port, along with a headphone and microphone jack. The keyboard offers a decent keystroke depth and quick snappy keys. It never feels too much like a laptop keyboard. None of that mushiness associated with membrane keyboards here. Similarly, the touchpad works just as smoothly as it should. It feels silky and smooth to the touch, but in an era of massive touchpads, it can feel kind of small. We already covered the Alienware 17's awkward display bezels, but the good news here is the display itself is just fine. To the naked eye, colors are bright and vibrant without being washed out or too heavily saturated. The 120Hz G-Sync panel makes even the most basic mouse movements completely captivating. The resolution here is also worth mentioning. The 17-inch display panel features a 1440p display resolution, which is unusual given the high refresh rate. It's an excellent pairing though. The high resolution and high refresh rate complement each other beautifully. Games are impossibly smooth and fluid, and because of the resolution, they're also remarkably crisp. The Alienware 17 features a processor that's a bit overkill for most uses. Not an Intel Core i5 or a Core i7, but a Core i9. For anyone unfamiliar, the Core i9 is Intel's top-end consumer-grade processor. It's marketed as a great processor for gaming, and it is, but it's important to point out that gaming is not typically processor-intensive. Games typically rely more heavily on the GPU than the processor, but having something as overwhelmingly powerful as an i9 on your machine has some important benefits. To test its limits, we rendered out an Adobe Premiere project file that stitches together a series of 8K videos and applies an unreasonable amount of adjustment layers. For reference, a decked out MacBook Pro 15 takes about 25 minutes to run the same render, while our Alienware 17 here finished the render in about 98 seconds. When it comes to gaming performance, the Alienware 17 packs enough power into its less than slender frame to run circles around similarly outfitted competitors. What that means in practice is that you won't have any trouble running games at 1440p with the settings maxed out, at least not for a while. It's pretty clear here that the Alienware 17's hardware configuration is fine-tuned for gaming performance. In Battlefield 1, for instance, we saw the Alienware consistently hit an average 139 frames per second, and that's at ultra-high settings at 1080p. We also saw it hit about 130 frames per second on the same settings at 1440p. All that power comes at a cost, though. The Alienware 17 isn't exactly an all-day performer when it's not plugged in. On account of its very powerful hardware, it burns through its battery a lot quicker than something a lot more modest, like a Dell XPS 13 would. On our video loop test, the Alienware managed just under three hours, which puts it neck and neck with the Razer Blade Pro 17. During everyday use, we were able to stretch that out to about four and a half hours of just basic web browsing and word processing. Still, it's very clear the Alienware 17 is not an all-day performer, but frankly, we'd be surprised if it was. Taken as a whole, the Alienware 17 delivers on everything it promises. Exceptional gaming performance, unbelievable processing power, and a gorgeous display. This is the laptop to beat if you need a gaming powerhouse that can sort of fit into a backpack. But if you're looking to save a little or pick up a laptop that's more general purpose, you should probably look elsewhere. That said, if you're looking at a $3,000 laptop, you really can't do better than the Alienware 17 R5.